So, uh, Jeremy, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, your name and your role here today? Yeah, um, name's Jeremy Valentine, uh, BVID's JR Valent. Been a member for uh, coming up to three years right now on BVA. Started out um, December of 2010, really working toward uh, instrument rating in real life for then. Looked up BVA, looked like it was a really good training aid, good place to be, and uh, joined online there as a pilot and graduated on the controller to try to really get a lot of good radio communications going. Um, to get rid of a little bit of mic fright that I had in real life, get a little bit more confidence on frequency, and BVA seemed to be the place to be. Fantastic. Could you show us your system here today? Uh, yeah, this is actually Dan Perone's system, but it's set up one and the same. This is what a controller screen usually works, looks like. Um, a typical center controller will have anywhere from two to four screens, including an iPad, for any type of chart reference on top of a big binder that we'll have for all of our charts. We try to mimic what we uh, what the real live controllers do as much as possible. All controllers go through a rigorous training um, regimen, going from our ground controller uh, rating all the way up to a center controller rating. Uh, we base everything off of the uh, FAA order point, uh, .65, which is the actual uh, job description and job order of the air traffic controllers in real life. So what they do out there is exactly what you're going to see in our server. So how close would you say that this is to what a real air traffic controller works with and, and uh, has as far as responsibilities? As far as uh, how close it can be, I would say it's right along line with FSX's uh, slogan, it's as real as it gets for a virtual based uh, community. Um, as you can see here, we have uh, flight strips. We have software along in our area that uh, allows us to pass flight strips to and from different controllers. So we're able to see what certain aircraft are doing between controllers uh, anywhere around the globe. Uh, that's exactly what the controllers do in real, real life with flight strips from one tower to the next. Uh, we have our main radar screen, which allows us to see any of the aircraft that are in the server at any given time. That radar screen displays an aircraft's position, track, altitude, and their squat code. So we know if the aircraft's flying VFR or IFR. And then also something that the real controllers don't you know, necessarily have is a third screen where we usually keep an internet browser up where we can pull up charts, any other type of information that we might be able to find via the internet. And on top of that, we run some uh, additional ADA software on that screen and another uh, software called TeamSpeak where we kind of simulate the controller landline where we can contact controllers off of frequency and make sure we're able to coordinate with them. Free. Great. Can you talk about how somebody could get involved with this? Uh, it's really easy. If you want to go to the bossvirtualatc.com webpage, there is a uh, four quick links on the very bottom of the screen. One of them is interested in becoming a controller. You click on that link and those uh, that will contain all the information you need to get you started. Uh, the first thing you need to do is read over a quick uh, 15 to 20 page standard operating procedure. Uh, take an op open book test based off of that SOP and once you uh, pass that test you'll be contacted by one of the uh, air traffic controller mentors to begin your training on frequency. That's great. Thank you Jeremy. Thank you Chuck.